and I've got uh, John Kruth from Tribeca Stand. John Kruth, can you help me out with the one published poem?
They looked as if they were starving for sex, as if it had been for centuries, when in fact for one of them it's been relatively recently. The other day, as I walked down First Street, I saw a pigeon fucking another pigeon. That was nothing like this fucking of which I speak. I'd like you to close your eyes and picture the most awesome fucking fucking you've ever had. That fucking was fucking bullshit compared to this fucking of which I have to speak. Well, okay, I guess I better wrap this up. I'd like to somehow wrap this up with a pretty little bow that would somehow justify the couple thousand words or so I've used to describe this sex. It really is a couple of thousand words. You're lucky, this is the short version. While I'm thinking about that, it occurs to me I didn't really describe it. I made no mention of the sweat, the heavy breathing, the particular positions or devices used, the moment of penetration, or even whether there was penetration. There was. Or even what penetrated what, or how often, or for how long. Well, maybe that's a little personal. Maybe that's more intimate and graphic than I choose to be just now. Although I've been accused otherwise, I do have some sense of decorum. I'm beginning, however, to be embarrassed by the way I've gone on and on and on about it. I hope if they ever come to realize that I was talking about them, that they would find it in their hearts to forgive me and to accept it in the generous, kind-hearted way that Joe Schrank accepted my poem of last year about him. Because God, I love the way they fucked. And I would, I would never want them to resent me, or even worse, to become self-conscious about the beautiful way they fuck, and as a consequence, stop fucking, for that would be fucked if they were to stop fucking on my account, because of my account. Especially considering I've used my, their fucking to serve my agendas. I've used it to serve my political agenda by mentioning heteronormativism and Reagan, and I have meant to mention something about how the investment banks and the politicians who do their bidding have led to the near collapse of our economic system by saying something like, they fucked as if their fucking was a call for all oppressed people to take to the streets and vilify the CEOs and investment bankers and politicians who have stolen our parents' pensions and our children's future, but I forgot to put that part in. <laughs> I use their fucking as a way to talk about because I like to talk about fucking. In a sense, you could say they fucked to serve my agenda, although that wasn't their intention. At any rate, be that as it may, when all is said and done, and at the end of the day, I'd like to thank them for the excellent job they did fucking, and I'd like to ask you all to join me in giving them, as a show of our collective appreciation, a hearty round of applause. Thank you.